Welcome back everyone. Today we will install a new blueprint called uh, Travel Times by Waze. This blueprint will allow you to ask for directions from a variety of uh, different places to and from um, from your home uh, address um, and um, you can also define uh, different addresses by uh, uh, short name like work or uh, uh, parents or mom and dad or, or, or uh, the bar uh, whichever whichever you choose and I'll go ahead and give a demonstration of uh, how this works let me go ahead and turn this volume up so maybe you can hear okay Nabu how long does it take to drive from Miami Florida to Orlando Florida now do know that sometimes it will take a, a, a bit of time for it to to respond as it it will take about three hours and 27 minutes to drive from Miami Florida to Orlando Florida so you can see it took a little while to uh, process that data uh, this is using uh, the Waze integration and it tries to find multiple routes and uh, the longer the the longer the distance uh, the longer it seems that this takes but just be patient okay Nabu how long will it take to drive to Baton Rouge? It will take about 59 minutes to drive to Baton Rouge. So you can see that this one came back a lot faster uh, because my proximity to uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana is, uh, is a lot uh, closer. Also know that I didn't give uh, Louisiana uh, in it. The more information that you can give, the better. Um, and this will, uh, you can give it full addresses if, if you choose. Um, and then finally, we can use uh, one of the shortcuts. Okay, Nabu. How long will it take to drive to work? It will take about 17 minutes to drive to work. Okay, so that's the demo of uh, how this uh, works. And if you're interested in setting this up, uh, the next part of the video will be uh, just that. So one second. All right, so here we are in Home Assistant. Um, we need to set up the uh, Waze integration. This one is uh, built in. So all we have to do is go to Settings. Um, oops, yep, uh, Devices and Services. And then we'll go to the, um, I don't know if you can see because my head's in the way, but the Add Integration button that's in the bottom right corner. We'll search for uh, Waze Travel Time. Click on that. And then you do have to set up a, uh, a sensor um, and you can put anything that you want here because we won't be using the sensor but you may find that you uh, that you uh, can find value in this uh, I think you can set it to auto update um, and you can pick different addresses and, and things so you could make one that always shows what the travel time is from your home to work or whatever you whatever you have there so we'll hit submit and then we'll say success okay so we'll hit say finish and then the, that's it for uh, that part and then the next part is uh, going over to uh, View Assist, and I'll have this linked uh, on the, uh, the video description. And we'll install the Travel Times by Waze um, uh, uh, blueprint. We'll click uh, Import the Blueprint, and make sure this is correct. Click Open Link. Now, I am having issues, and, and uh, a couple other people have told me that they've had this issue, uh, but not everyone has. So if the link doesn't work for you, uh, don't worry, you can still use it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go back to uh, the View Assist page that that I pointed you to uh, a minute ago, the one that we've got here. And if we go, you can either copy, right-click, copy uh, the link address, or uh, better yet, just so you know, if you go to the Blueprint itself and you click on Raw, if you copy the, the URL here, I hit a Control-C copy, and then if I go into settings, automations and scenes, blueprints, import blueprint, and then I paste that in here. You click preview and then it'll work. Uh, so if you clicked on the link and it worked, you're at this point. If not, uh, do what I just said and then you click import, excuse me, and then you have it. And now we need to configure it. So click here and uh, here are all the options you can choose uh, to change these things if you like I would be careful 
because of the way they're hard coded. But I do understand that uh, some people live in other uh, countries um, and may want to use this um, for home. This is a starting. Uh, this is the starting point. This is a shortcut. Uh, you would want to set this to your home address or whichever address that you would be using Home Assistant um, in, and uh, use the full use the full uh, address if you can. For the uh, shortcuts, you can do things like um, um, you, you want to keep with this formatting, right? So don't change anything but the text. So if you wanted to change work to uh, I don't know school. You would change. It would be quote school close quote colon open quote and then the address that you would want, and then further on want to close and then close quote and then a comma. So this is just a separated separated. Uh, uh, it's a dictionary is is what it is, and these are the parts that you need to uh, need to change. So you just go and change these uh, as needed. It, it's pretty straightforward, and if you have problems. Uh, you can always come on to the, our Discord and someone will walk you through it. Um, further, uh, this uh, Waze integration uh, will only work for the US, North America, European Union, uh, Israel, and also uh, Australia. So pick the country that you have there, and then uh, you need to have the, uh, the view installed, the info view. This is one that we've used a lot of, but I also uh, have linked in the uh, in the description uh, a video that shows you how to install this info if you don't have it already installed and then you pick the uh, the view assist satellite group typically if you're following along you'll have the name the same way and uh, that's all there is to it you click save uh, give it a name view assist travel time so our ways is, is good click rename and it's saved and you are ready to go and you can start making calls and get a uh, travel time I think this is a pretty cool uh, deal in that um, AI can't give you these real-time uh, this real-time information, uh, and this is just further building out the assist uh, voice assistant with Home Assistant uh, to have additional capabilities. So I hope you uh, enjoyed it, and I will ask you to uh, like and subscribe. It, it helps our channel grow. Visit us on uh, the Discord channel. We have almost 200 uh, people on there, and, and everyone's helping each other and contributing. Um, we have some other blueprints in the works that are uh, totally made by uh, the users. I'm really excited to see that as this grows. And uh, finally, if you can, uh, if you haven't already, uh, go to our GitHub page and um, star, the, uh, star the repo and uh, let's see if we can't get some uh, additional attention that way so that we can uh, draw more people and, and increase the uh, capabilities of U Assist. Uh, so for now, this is it.